Hello and welcome to the 8th tutorial of the Lost in the Sea series. Today we are going to model a nice chest like this one. I made two variants and I'm gonna show you how I made one and then you can change it as you wish. So, in the front view, one in the pad, we start by creating a cube from the shift aim menu and enter in edit mode with tab. Cut in half with Ctrl R and erase the right side. And we can go back to the object mode with tab, enter the modifiers tab and add a mirror with the axis set to the X axis. Now in edit mode with Ctrl tab, select faces and let's press E to extrude this front face and scale it down with S until you create a nice border like this one. Now again, with E, extrude to create a cavity like this. We are going to do the same for the left side, but first cut in half with Ctrl R and erase the left side like this. And in the mirror modifier, add the Y axis. We extrude again with E and scale it down with S only in the Z axis. And move this edge with G along the Y axis and by holding control we can snap to that vertice. And by the way, you can choose what you want to snap to with control shift tab. Now select the face and extrude it like this. Delete this unnecessary face. And with control R we horizontally cut the chest in half. And select this vertice and move it in the Y axis a little bit outside. To create the top of our treasure, we enter in edit mode, select this vertice in the middle, press shift S and say cursor to select. Now this way we can come to the object mode and create a cylinder with 16 or more vertices and it will spawn right in the middle of the chest. Rotate it 90 degrees in the Y axis and scale it in the X axis until it reaches the borders of the chest. Enter in edit mode to cut vertically in half and delete the right side and the bottom vertice too. Add a mirror modifier and set it to the Z axis. By holding shift and alt and pressing the right mouse in this row of vertices we select them and can press F to create a face. Now let's create the borders by pressing E to extrude and scale it down. Create this cavity by extruding like we did before. Cut the top of the chest two times with Ctrl R and create the borders by, by moving them like this. Also cut this face in half and the one in the back also. Now select only those faces and push them down in the Z axis and you can immediately scale it only in the Y axis to get something like this. The final touch of these borders would be to select those faces again and scale them down in the X axis like this. So they don't look so straight. Now let's go ahead and create the screws. With Shift A choose a cylinder and set the amount of vertices to 5. Scale the screw down and add an array modifier and define the space in the X axis to something like this. The count, the count would be 5. You can add more or less, that's up to you, you know. Now we add another modifier and say that the mirror object will be the cube. Duplicate with Shift D to the top. Duplicate again to this place and erase the array modifier, we don't need it. Because it's easier to do this manually unless you have more than 3 or 4 screws. In that case you need to adjust the array parameters. Rotate it in the X axis until it's aligned. Duplicate two times like this and set the transform orientation to normal. So we can use the Y axis on the screen to push this perpendicular to the front. Duplicate to the bottom and rotate in the X axis until it's aligned. I have also just realized that it's better if we scale these faces only in X axis to get the same feeling we have with the top chest. And do the same for this vertice, but move them by pressing 2 times G so they only move along the edges. That's quite useful actually. 
We can do the same for this top vertice and press 2 times G again, then 2 times A to select everything and press double V to select the remove doubles. In doing so, you erase unnecessary vertices. We can smooth out the edges of the side of the chest like we did before and also duplicate the screws and fill the side of the chest with them. Something like this. The lock of the chest is a cube that is made thinner like this and we add a bevel modifier to create some round corners. Set the bevel modifier to percent and play with the values of white. Duplicate it with Shift D and rotate it a bit. Create a cube in the mid like this and scale it down. Add another one in the bottom cube and remember that if we enter in edit mode, we can select this face then press Shift S and we can say that we want the cursor to select it. Now in object mode, we can create a cube right in the middle of this. Scale it down and now the idea is to create something like a C shape, as you may see. I'll rotate it until it's perpendicular with this cube. If you want you can add a bevel modifier. Duplicate this cube and scale it down in the X axis like this and add a mirror modifier and select the cube as the mirror object. Now move this out and extrude this face as well as this one. Extrude again this one until you reach more or less the mid. In the mirror modifier, we can increase the merge limit until the left side merges with the right side, as you can see. And with transform orientation set to normals, we can push these two faces down. Add an horizontal cut with Ctrl R and erase these two faces. By selecting four faces, we create a face with F and close this. Now select the bottom vertice and press 2 times G to move them along the edges. Push this face down. Select everything and move it down to something like this. Now you can add vertices with Ctrl R and align them by moving along the edges with 2 times G. Select all of these faces and rotate it in the X axis. Push this face even lower and move this edge outside. Make these cuts and erase these two faces to create a hole. Close everything by selecting 4 vertices and pressing F. For the lock, we create a cube and scale down and make it thinner in the Y axis. Scale it up and cut in half with Ctrl R so you can add a mirror. Now create a Bezier curve in the curve section from the Shift A menu and scale it down like this. And in the curve panel lower the resolution, we don't need that many edge loops. Move this vertice up and try to create something like this. After that go to the curve tab and say the fill is full and move the depth values higher. Add a bevel to the cube and a mirror to the Bezier curve. Now, create a hole for an imaginary key, something simple as you can see. And that's it for our lock, and we are almost done with our chest. I have just added a few more screws in the top part of the chest, and now, and now this part is going to be fast. We just want the basic features. We just want the basic features of a skull, and for that, let's go to Google and search for half skull. Select one that you like and open it in Blender in the end panel. Open the image in the background image and this time add a plane since we are going to add a solidify modifier later on. Scale it down until it only touches the skull and create horizontal cuts with Ctrl R in the main features only. Cut it off and add a mirror. Place everything in the right place like this. We don't need to make this perfect, we can exaggerate in the chic area, this is just a reference. Now add one vertical cut and we're gonna erase this face to create the nose hole and give a few adjustments. Now we add two vertical cuts with Ctrl R to create the hole for the eyes. And as I said, we don't need to be loyal to the reference as you may see, so select this vertex and move it down 
create a more badass expression and erase this face. And that's pretty much it. We just wanna... We're just gonna add some cuts for the teeth. Just cut one time horizontally and a couple of times vertically, as many as you wish. And finally erase the faces to create the holes. That's it guys, just add the solidify modifier in case you don't have it already and place it somewhere nice in the chest. Now, we're going to create the bones under the skull and that's pretty easy. Let's go again to Google and search for crossed bones. Download one of the images, open up again in Blender and this time we're going to use again a plane and try to match the main features like this. After we have done the bone, we can add the mirror modifier and select the skull as the mirror object and also add the solidify modifier place it under the skull and that's it guys we have now an awesome skull with some awesome bones I really like the outcome of the chest I think it's amazing actually I just added the hinges to the chest they were made with a simple method from a cube with a bevel modifier and then we create three cuts three horizontal cuts Give it a few tweaks in the scale and in rotation, as you can see. And deform it until you get something like this. Then I duplicate it and use a mirror, since the one in the middle is bigger. Now, for the materials, we use three simple materials, as in the rest of the series. One that imitates the gold fill. And two for the metal, one lighter and one darker. But I always leave this to you, to choose what fits best in your vision. Now, I almost forgot about two things, the handles and the inside of the chest. The handles are made with a cube and a bezier curve like this one. Don't forget to lower the resolution to cut down on the edge loops, set the fill to full and play with the depth values. Then we add a mirror to both objects and say the chest is the mirror object. The inside of the chest is pretty simple. In perspective mode, we enter inside the chest we extrude this face without moving it, select these two edges and move them to create the borders. Extrude this face until it reaches the bottom and basically that's it, just erase these faces. For the top of the chest, select these edges to create the face with F, then extrude the face and scale it down to create the borders of the top. Just select these vertices, move them on top of this edge Select all with A and press double V to remove the doubles. Finally, just select the face and extrude it till you reach the top. And just be careful that it isn't seen from the outside and for that we scale it down. And finally, just erase these faces and verses and that's it, we are done. And this is the end, that's it guys. Just put it somewhere nice in this scenario and we are done. Thanks for watching, please subscribe if you enjoyed it and stay tuned for more.